Australia Location Boundaries and Physical Divisions Australia, the largest island and the smallest continent in the world, lies entirely south of the equator and is called the land down under or even the island continent. The name Australia is derived from the Latin word Australis meaning southern and its official name is Commonwealth of Australia. Australia is the only continent that has one nation and is the sixth largest country in the world. It also includes the large island of Tasmania and many small islands. Australia is newer than the New World. Europeans settled first in American continents and did not discover Australia until the early 1770s and explored it even much later. The origins of modern Australia date only from the first British settlement in 1788. A Dutch ship sailed along the coast of northern Australia in 1606 but with little interest in the island. In 1642, another Dutch ship, captained by Abel Tasman, sailed south of Australia and discovered the island, now known as Tasmania. Long after Tasman's voyage, the British government sent a ship, led by James Cook, to know more about the island. Captain Cook, on reaching the Australian coast in 1770, hoisted the flag on Australia's fertile east coast and claimed it for England. He named this part New South Wales. Australia celebrates its national day on January 26th. Australia entirely lies in the Southern Hemisphere and in the Eastern Hemisphere of the globe. The Tropic of Capricorn passes through its centre. Australia's location is 12 degrees south to 38 degrees south latitude and 114 degrees east to 154 degrees east longitude. The island of Tasmania extends a little further south. Australia is bordered by Indian Ocean in the west, the Southern Ocean in the south and the Pacific Ocean in the east. The Great Australian Bight forms an arch along the southern coast and the Gulf of Spencer and the Encounter Bay lie on the southeast. Australia lies close to Southeast Asia and many islands stretch between them. They are remnants of the land bridge that once connected the two continents millions of years ago. Beyond the east coast stretches the Pacific Ocean with the Tasman Sea in the south and Coral Sea in the north. Timor Sea lies in the northwest the Arafura Sea in the northeast and the Gulf of Carpentaria along the northern coast. The Cape York Peninsula forms the northeast tip of Australia. The island of New Guinea lies to the north of Australia. Tasmania lying to the south is separated from Australia by the Bass Strait. New Zealand, lying to the southeast at a distance of nearly 2,000 kilometers, is separated from Australia by the Tasman Sea. Australia, with its regular coastline and few inlets of the sea, has no natural harbors except in the south. The Great Barrier Reef, made up of coral deposits, runs parallel to the northeast coast for a length of about 2,000 kilometers. Corals are the hardened secretions or calcium carbonate outer skeletons of billions of tiny sea animals called polyps. These skeletons attach themselves to the skeleton of dead polyps beneath them, enabling the reefs to grow. The Great Barrier Reef of Australia 
is the largest coral reef in the world. Australia can be divided into four major physical divisions. The Western Plateau, the Central Lowlands, the Eastern Highlands and the Coastal Plains. The Western Plateau extends over almost two-thirds of the continent. It spreads across the whole of Western and most of Southern and Northern Australia. Made up of ancient, hard, crystalline rocks which are rich in minerals, most of the plateau is flat, broken by occasional rocky ranges. The average elevation of the plateau is 365 meters, making Australia the flattest continent in the world. The height increases only at McDonnell and Musgrave ranges. Ayers Rock or Uluru is the most famous high point and is visible from more than 80 kilometers. The western edge of the plateau slopes steeply to the sea and much of the western plateau is a desert or semi-desert. The central lowlands lying between the western plateau and the eastern highlands stretch from the Gulf of Carpentaria in the north to the Encounter Bay in the south. It can be divided in three parts on the basis of drainage. The Great Artesian Basin to the north, the Lake Aya Basin in the center, and the Murray-Darling Basin to the southeast. The Great Artesian Basin, made of flat lands, is the largest Artesian Basin in the world. It is known for the underground water that is utilized through Artesian wells. Although the water is hot with high salt content, it is very useful for cattle rearers in this dry region. Lake Aya Basin is the low-lying area around Lake Aya, named after E.J. Aya, who discovered it in 1840, which is a large, shallow water lake with nothing but a dry white salt pan. The lake depends on rain for water, which is not much in the region. Except for the rainy season, the lake is dry for most of the time. The Murray-Darling Basin is made by the most important river system of Australia. The Murray, 2,574 kilometers long, is the main river and Darling is its tributary. Both these rivers rise in the eastern highlands. While Murray is snow-fed and has enough water, the Darling is erratic and dries up during a drought. The eastern highlands run parallel to the east coast from Cape York Peninsula in the north through Bass Strait and into Tasmania in the south. Australia's longest chain of mountain ranges is the Great Dividing Range or the Australian Alps. Mount Kosciusko, 2,234 meters, is the highest peak of Australia. Many small swift rivers flow down these highlands into the east coastal plains and are a source of water power. Murray and Darling rise on the western slope of the eastern highlands. The eastern coastal plains lying to the east of the Great Dividing Range have Australia's most fertile farmland and receive plenty of rain. They are cut by several short fast-flowing rivers that rise in the eastern highlands and empty into the Pacific Ocean.